expert. Today, we're exploring an exciting topic, the difference between cloud computing and edge computing. These terms might sound a bit technical, but by the end of this video, you'll see how they fit into our everyday lives. Let's dive in with a story. Imagine you're in a busy city, craving pizza. You have two options. Option one, you call a central pizzeria located miles away. They prepare your pizza and deliver it to you. It takes some time, but the pizza eventually arrives. Option two, you spot a food truck right next to you, cooking fresh pizzas on the spot. You order, and your pizza is ready in minutes. In this analogy, the central pizzeria is like cloud computing, while the food truck represents edge computing. Both deliver what you want, but the way they operate, and the time it takes, differs greatly. Let's start with cloud computing. In simple terms, cloud computing is when your data and applications are hosted and processed in centralized data centers, often far from where you are. These data centers are like those large pizzerias built to handle a lot of orders simultaneously. For instance, when you upload photos to your social media account, those photos are stored on cloud servers. These servers could be in another city or even another country. Cloud computing is powerful because it centralizes resources, making it easy to store, manage, and process vast amounts of data. It's great for tasks like data backups, running large applications, and hosting websites. But here's the catch. Because the data has to travel long distances, there can be delays, like waiting for your pizza delivery. If you're streaming a movie, playing an online game, or using a real-time application like video conferencing, these delays can be frustrating. And that's where edge computing comes in. Edge computing brings the data and processing closer to where it's needed, at the edge of the network. It's like the food truck making pizza right next to you. There's no long wait because everything happens nearby. Here's an example. Imagine a self-driving car. It needs to make split-second decisions, braking, turning, or accelerating to avoid accidents. Sending data to a distant cloud server and waiting for a response isn't practical. Instead, edge computing processes that data locally, right inside the car or in a nearby device, ensuring lightning-fast responses. Edge computing is especially useful for devices like smart thermostats, wearable health monitors, or even drones. These devices generate a lot of data and need immediate feedback. By processing data closer to the source, edge computing reduces latency, improves performance, and can even save bandwidth costs. Now let's compare them side by side. Cloud computing is like the central hub, ideal for large-scale operations and tasks that don't require immediate results. It's reliable, scalable, and cost-effective for storing and processing huge amounts of data. But it can struggle with real-time demands due to delays caused by distance. Edge computing, on the other hand, is all about speed and proximity. It processes data closer to the source, reducing delays and enabling real-time actions. But it's not as centralized or scalable as cloud computing, so it's often used for specific, time-sensitive tasks rather than large-scale data storage. So, which one should you use? It depends on your needs. If you're running a global app, cloud computing is a no-brainer. But if you're working on real-time applications like smart cities or IoT devices, edge computing is the way to go. To wrap it up, cloud computing is like the central pizzeria. Great for large-scale tasks, but slower for immediate needs. Edge computing is like the food truck. Fast and responsive, perfect for real-time demands. Together, they're reshaping the way we interact with technology. I hope this story-based explanation made these concepts crystal clear. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech insights, and drop any questions in the comments below. I'm Zishan, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay curious and stay tech savvy.